Welcome to OmniTiles Standalone Beta. In this video I'd like to give you a small and short introduction into the main um, features of OmniTiles so you can get started quickly. So um, this is the main UI, the edit area to create patterns and um, this, these are all the buttons that you need to create and change and edit patterns within this area. You can adjust the grid here. Um, you can load a source map here as background to uh, use as guide. Turn on and off. You can turn on the grid on and off and um, create rectangulars or create your own shapes and always close the shape. You can smooth, rotate, scale, etc. So um, this is how you create your own shapes and patterns. You can load patterns um, with this button. Um, there are over 80 patterns included, so just select one or skip through the patterns. Now if you want to see these patterns um, in a preview, you can choose uh, the preview window, set it to one and one so it's square and select the, the edge map and the edge map can be edited within the render settings dialog. This is where you set, set up everything, the tiling, um, the output resolution, the output path, um, whether you want to send it to Photoshop directly, um, the anti-aliasing and uh, the gradient edge colors and um, map and width. You can change the width here to let's say uh, try something else 50 and um, if you adjust the tiling it adapts automatically so let's go back to five so um, now you can you could switch through all the patterns here but if you want to see um, these patterns with uh, with textures filled you can use the texture manager or the omnitiles texture dialog and load a set of multi textures from the included textures in this texture folder which is also installed um, i'm using simple uh, red bricks in this case and all of these bricks are automatically loaded into these different layers you can add your own layers with a channel manager um, just add one call it whatever maybe ao ambient occlusion and set up the filters here which are, are used to filter the maps by names and if a bitmap contains AO it will be loaded. Save changes and here we go. So um, now I have these loaded I can see the layers here and uh, continue to skip through the patterns. Um, we've included a set of demo presets um, which are these full presets and um, when you load it, uh, they, they, are, they can be seen here, they can be further edited um, to your liking. And for example, the Roman mosaic floor is an example where you see grouping, uh, which is also a nice feature. I've created a group for these um, black tiles in this case, and then I've assigned these black tiles within this, this assignment to group one. So only group one uses the black tiles and the other ones are in this case um, used by the other uh, all group. So um, you can choose random or random unique first uh, or linear sequence which is the, the order in which the bitmaps are being selected. And um, yeah when you're ready um, you can save a full preset which is a preset that contains, if you select a bad pattern, the whole pattern in the file and um, the bitmap paths to the loaded bitmaps. So you can use relative paths or you can copy the bitmaps into the same directory um, where you save the preset. You can save the pattern alone, um, save pattern as. Um, and you can open texture manager and render settings from here. So once you're ready, you can um, output the maps either to Photoshop or individual files. Oh, I forgot one thing. You can adjust um, random flipping, um, random mirroring, and use saturation value randomization of the bitmaps. So um, 
yeah, if you want to output these bitmaps, um, select the output resolution We're up to six, uh, 16K. Uh, select the anti-aliasing. Um, select an output path. I'm using just as an example. Where is it? Output, out, out of TSA output. Test, um, name the, the format. I'm using JPEG in this case and uh, hit render now and there they are test and the other maps the layers so um, that's basically it so this is the brief introduction um, we'll go more into detail into all the parameters and individual parts uh, with other tutorials but just so you can get a head start um, this is the basic functioning. All right, give us feedback. Uh, this is still a beta version. Um, what you need, what's not working, and uh, yeah, we depend on your feedback to make it a good product. So thank you for watching and see you soon.